Hi, this is Roy Neiswanger again, operator of MotleyPixel.com. Today I'm going to show you briefly how to remove the dust out of your Canon EFS 17-55 f2.8 IS USM lens. Um, I got pretty frustrated after just six months of use. Saw a lot of dust in the uh, inside of the lens, though very minimal impact to image quality. Um, I will say uh, all the way open at 2.8 uh, 17 millimeter wide close focus. Um, I did pick up one particular piece of dust and uh, that sent me forward to try to rectify this on my own. Now, the first thing you need to do is convince yourself um, that you really want to dismantle this lens. Uh, this lens retails anywhere from about 900 US dollars to 1000 US dollars. So that's the very first step. Next step you want to do is, um, just in case, because you'll have an opportunity to calibrate the lens, is check for any front or back focus. And here's how you do that. Essentially what you want to do is you want to set the camera lens at 17 millimeters wide, get as close focus as possible, back off maybe about 6 inches. In this case it's about 2 feet at uh, 17 millimeters with this particular lens. Set the aperture at f2.8, aperture priority. Uh, turn your image stabilization off. Uh, mount the camera on a tripod. Center focus uh, enabled only. Okay, moving right along to the required materials. Um, you're going to need a few toothpicks, wooden toothpicks. This is going to help pry that um, plastic uh, trim piece that's inside the uh, outer lens element here. You're going to need a quad-op Phillips screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need some type of tape, preferably masking tape, something that doesn't leave any residue. This is a medical tape, it works well. To actually mark where your glass is, and tape it around the barrel and then make a slice so you can line up the glass where it was where you left it. You're going to want to use a, uh, a rocket blower to blow out the dust. The first thing you want to notice is this, this ring with the uh, text on it that shows the manufacturer and the f-stop etc. We need to remove that ring in order to get to the screws. So how, how we want to do that is we want to use a toothpick and on the inside, on the inside where the threads are for the filter, pry. Let's go ahead <clears throat> and gently pry this ring out. Okay, the ring is removed. It's very lightweight, very thin. We will now set that aside. Now, let me try to get a closer view here for you. If you can see, we've got three screws, one here, one here, and one right here, okay? If you also look very closely, there's a, there's a slot that's approximately one inch long where each of the screws go. In this particular case, the screw on all three of mine is screwed into the middle of the slot, and on each side, there's a hole for the screw to go in. And these holes, there are three holes on each of these slots all the way around. They are the calibration points. And basically, um, I did my test. I'm back focused slightly. So I'm going to try to move the screws and uh, see if it helps. So I'll move this one to this slot and continue around. Move this one, one back, and move it all in the same direction. Okay. Taken that piece of tape, taped it across from the glass all the way around to the outside, and then I cut right around where the threads are for the filter. Now it's time to remove the screws and take the front element out. Okay, I have all three Phillip head screws removed. Now the moment of truth. Like so, and this front element, yep should just pop right out. There it is. Keep this covered. Here's that element. It's quite heavy. Very thick. Very heavy. Okay. Okay. 
Here's a quick look at the inside of the element, or the inside element rather, and the cavity there at the end. See what happens there when we zoom. Zoom in to 55 millimeters. See that element backing up. Okay, I spent about five minutes blowing out the chamber with the uh, dust blower, rocket blower. I cleaned the element on the inside here and I'm ready to place it in. And because we use this tape, it should go in just fine. Okay. I'm going to want to uh, line that tape up. It's lined up. Make sure everything else looks like it should. And we're ready to uh, seat the screws. But what you want to do is you want to put the screws back, tighten them all the way down with outlock tight, do your focus tests, which is somewhat tedious. You're going to be uh, taking several shots, bringing them into your computer, zooming in with your, uh, with your monitor and looking at the images take your time with this and it will pay off in the end. Okay, I've finished calibrating the lens and in doing so I found out something uh, new and very important. So correction to what I said earlier in the video. There are three places that these screws can screw into and these holes are not at varying levels. They're all at the same level. The reason why there are three available holes is because um, on the inside of the lens here, the outer element rests on an inclined edge. And the way I found this out was unscrewing each of the three screws, uh, backing them off about halfway, and then I was able to rotate the lens. And in one direction, it eventually stopped against the back head of the screw, indicating to me that it was raising up. So the other direction was dropping the lens element down towards the back of the lens. So the reason why there are three is because you only have a fixed width to adjust the lens uh, element. So the next step now is remove one screw at a time and add a tiny bit of Loctite. And I mean just a tiny bit. You don't want to get too messy with it. Okay, all, all three screws are seated. The lens is now immaculate. I really can't see any dust in there now, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Next step, I'm going to put this cover back over the screws. And what I'm going to do, hopefully, to mitigate some of this dust uh, coming in is using the silicon. And you want to be real light. I intend only to put a light bead over the slot uh, on all three places. And then I'm going to lay, that, um, lay this cover over it and gently press it into place. Um, that should be plenty to hold it and uh, it should be serviceable in the future with silicon. You can just get in there with some tweezers and peel that right out. <clears throat> okay, I applied a thin bead of silicon. I laid the, uh, uh, the ring piece back in there and uh, don't be afraid to get your fingers on the outside of the lens. You can clean that later. All I'm doing is give it a nice gentle tap down so you get good contact on the back side of this with that bead of silicon. There we have it. A little smudgy and dirty on the outside but again want to let this uh, cure at least 24 hours before we uh, get on the uh, end of that lens on the outside and clean it with a microfiber cloth. But all in all um, not that hard of a procedure you just really need to pay attention to detail. Thanks for watching this tutorial on how to clean the dust out of your Canon EFS 17-55 2.8 ISUSN lens. Thanks, bye.